What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This is the third time I've tried recording this, okay? My son interrupted the first time. The second time, my battery went dead, so I had to switch my battery out. So I'm not going to reshuffle, because I feel like this is a, um, a message that needs to get out there, okay? I did the overall energy for your career as angel of love energy, is what came out. So I see you doing something in the energy of love, something you enjoy doing, something that brings you a lot of happiness and abundance into your life here with this angel of love card. And I'm going to read it here since I got a new battery in and it's charged up. So let's see. Number 49 says tender connections. Okay. This beautiful angel comes with roses in her hair and nose ro uh, and rose colored wings. She holds a rose quartz heart radiating tender and loving vibrations, bringing you compassion and affection. If you're looking for new love, this angel brings a message of its upcoming approach or if you're longing for a deeper more intimate connection with someone already in your life she's here to say that far greater tenderness is available to you either way remember that you for your first intention for tenderness must be directed inward and the compassion that you demonstrate towards yourself will influence the energetic potential of these events in a significant way the angel of love is smiling on you and forging connections in the energetic realm so the reason why i did not want to redo this reading because scorpio <clears throat> This angel of love energy is talking about making sure everything you do is out of the out of love. Like you love doing it. You love having this possibility. You know, you just get so much happiness and abundance out of this. And this is what's going to bring in the type of um, it's important to put out the type of energy that you want to bring in. OK, but it's also I feel like it's preparing you for, you know, how you do something you love. And there's a lot of people that come at you and be like, oh, why do they think they're, they're doing something? They really think that they. They really think that they're somebody. I think it's preparing you, Scorpio, with this angel of love. Because when I shuffled, I got these cards out. And the first cards that popped out was Motivator in Reverse and the Beware card Upright. And this automatically told me that there's people talking ill on you. Like talking down on you. Like somebody that's not happy for you. Someone that's trying to throw shots at you that like maybe like telling other people like they really think they're doing something or they really think that there's somebody or because it says careful who who you talk to regarding money or business matters. There's somebody that's not happy for you. They, they're not happy that you're making the moves that you're making. And they're I feel like they're they're They feel some type of way. They feel salty. You got the legal card and unexpected card. I also noticed like you need to be careful of who you're partnering up with. OK, make sure you're crossing your T's and dotting your I's because I feel like there's going to be people trying to like get at you because of what you're what you're being successful at, what you're creating here, what you're building here. And I feel like there's going to be some type of unexpected situation that comes up like. You know, for example, like they would, I feel like it's the type of person that like you would be doing so well and like this person would come at you and like, I'm just used to say example, they'll come to your restaurant and they're like, oh wow, this isn't, mm, they think they're doing something, I'm gonna act like I slipped and fell here so I can sue them. Like it would be that type of thing, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like it's also, I don't feel like you might know this person, but you could, you could be in, in a partnership with this person as well. Like maybe they get mad because your side of the business takes off better or you're getting more recognized than the other person. And like they feel some type of way. So they want to come take from you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know why this reading is coming out. And then I pulled easy does it and unethical. So this tells me that like they're looking at you. They want what you have, but they may do whatever they need to like stealing and lying because it says someone is stealing or lying to you about money like they would try to like expose you in order to make a come up like for example if, if you were in a partnership with somebody maybe maybe you were having like relationship problems or something like that i feel like they would put your business out there just to make a quick come up so you got to you got to be careful who you who you surround yourself by and it says Success will find you and there is something better. Some of you will find out that this person you're in partnership with doesn't have your best interest. Like success is coming towards you because you're living in the you're vibing and living in the energy of love. So success is coming towards you. But there's somebody that. Oh, I hate to say it like that, but there's somebody that don't like you, Scorpio. Like they mad hating. Some of you, there's going to be an opportunity where somebody comes in. They're like, hey, yo, you know, you should invest in this. You should invest in this. 
but you you're gonna look back and be like man i'm so glad i passed that up because it was like it was rigged or it was a scam of some sort so be cautious of scammers coming in don't believe the people that can tell you hey this is gonna be easy all you gotta do is pay me a certain amount of money and then i can um launch you off here or you could be ultimately successful here be careful of that. You also got the retail instability card here. Some of you will be selling online, like you're you're selling stuff online here, or some type of passive income here is what you're creating. So again, be cautious of who has access to your information. Don't be telling everybody what you're selling, what you're trying to grow, because somebody could try to come in and take your idea. So save time, energy, and add passive income by taking your business online. Some of you just need to go online. Like maybe you have like a clothing store. Maybe you have like a candle shop or something like that. And like in, instead of just selling outside the store, maybe put create your website. Go online and sell online as well. I'm seeing this new money, emotions, life, purpose, and rescuer. And I pulled this when I was looking at this easy does it and unethical car. So I feel like. You're living in your purpose, Scorpio. You're in alignment. You know, you're you're out there. Not only are you creating new money platforms for yourself, like creating new ways to make money, create new opportunities to make money. But I feel like somebody's going to try to do something to really get you in your emotions to throw you off. But it's part of the plan, like it's, it's put in place here because it's meant to. Um, it's like when whenever whenever you're doing something right, that's when the devil wants to come bother you. You know, that's how they say it. when you're doing something right. That's when the devil comes to bother you, comes to. Sorry, guys, I'm looking out the window because my son's outside riding a bike. But like. When you're doing something right, that's when the devil tries to attack you. When you're doing something wrong, the devil leaves you alone. And it's because you're, you're doing his work. You're his favorite at that time. But when you're doing something right. And you're trying to help people. You're trying to bring people out of that stuck energy. You're trying to bring people out of that, you know, like some of you could be a motivator. You know, some people, some of you could be like inspiring people to to awaken, to come to the light. To You know what I'm saying? To like live in their purpose, stand in their power. They say the devil don't like that. Or bad spirits, you know, whatever, you know. Bad spirits, bad things like that. You know, they don't like that stuff when you're trying to do that. And then I seen charity on the bottom of the deck. So you could be doing like the way that they say it is like God's work or the universe work, like living in your purpose. You know what I'm saying? Destiny. Networker. Yeah, some of you could be online, like reaching to other people. You know what I'm saying? Reaching out to other people and helping other people to walk into their destiny, to stand. It's like it's your it's your path. It's your purpose. That's what you're meant to do. What about retail and stability here? my Scorpios. Yeah, some of you need to go online and again be oh, ooh. unfulfilled, bottom of the deck, promoter and unreliable. Reliable is there's some confusion regarding money. People are not following through on their promises and not pay on time. Expected money may not materialize. Again, be careful of who you're doing business with like if you're trying to hire somebody to promote your business or you're trying to hire somebody to like um get your name out there and stuff like that make sure you're make sure you're doing your research because i feel like somebody's going to try to get over on you here know that you can always promote your own business i mean i know it's good to like try to you know like if you're like a candle shop or whatever like that you want you could pay to like have promotion like on facebook on YouTube, you know, stuff like that. But you can also create like your own YouTube channel, your own Facebook where you're like posting your stuff, getting your name out there. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't always have to go to somebody else to do it. And so just be careful of who you try to get on your team or who you try to hire. Let's see. Give me give me to, uh, another one about retail and stability. The outlook here and the luck cards on the bottom of the deck. See, you got luck on your side here. Improve your relationship with money to help grow your wealth. Change behavior and develop better money habits. Some of you need to just watch your spending. Watch how you're saving. Watch your spending. I see the luck card, though. The luck is Your luck is about to change for the better. You could get a lucky break, some financial breakthrough. Anything you do now will be very, very prosperous for you. I also feel like you've had to get away from people that was, like, blocking your blessings. I don't... Give me a little more information for Scorpio. Let's see. Uh, Tell me more about this, the beware and the unethical energy. Tell me more about the beware and unethical energy. 
it, a lot of people were blocking your blessings. I don't know who you have been surrounding yourself by. It was like people that, you know, they they always say the energies that you're surrounded by, surrounded by, that's the energies that affect you. And I feel like a lot of you were surrounded by, by manipulative people, by people that didn't speak good on your name. But like you're, that is changing for you with the science card. There is something uh, unfolding for you with an open uh, work with an open mind. Apply a scientific approach to your business or financial problem. You also got business. Do not be intimidated to enter the world of business. So some of you could have been surrounded by a family member that was like, I would never do self-employment or I would never become an entrepreneur because it's not it's not a guaranteed. You need to make sure you have a nine to five or. It says elevate your awareness and think bigger if you want different results. Some of you just weren't thinking big enough. Like you were thinking like, oh, okay, well, I can afford this house. I can work this job and then I can retire. And that would be life. No, like there's something bigger and better. There is so much money out here. There are so many other things out here. Like some of you, you could create something. You'd be living your best life for the rest of your life. You could retire at 39. You know what I'm saying? You got the unclear card. So money is either tight or not receiving what you expected. The answers you are seeking will remain unclear for now. And your basic needs will be met. So there is something that's coming for you. But you don't quite know what it is yet. And I feel like it's being protected for a reason because there's some energies around you that that just aren't happy for you that aren't like you gotta the way that the frequency works like if you're if you're vibing at a seven and you're surrounding yourself by level three people you're gonna be you in order to stay on their level you have to keep vibing at the level three if you want to grow you have to expand you have to grow you have to elevate so that you can get up to ten you know what I'm saying so I feel like whoever's been around you, like they've been vibing low. Like they, their energy has been affecting you in some type of way. Like for some of you, maybe you, maybe you've been around people that believe in stealing, you know, that they steal and hustle and, and do illegal stuff. And if you stay around that, that's going to be your mindset. But if you take, okay, because some of those people, don't get me wrong. Like some of those people that do like that stuff, they have the mindset to create a good business. If they would put it towards doing that, they really do. But they, they don't think that. They don't think bigger. They don't think legal. They don't think, okay, let me make sure I'm doing this the right way so that I can build this business. If They could have a multi-million dollar business. What else uh, is going on for Scorpio in the next seven days as far as money, finances, and career? Getting recognized. High honor. You're getting recognized here. The courtship card is here as well. I see you leveling up. I see you working hard. Wealthy man, be careful. False person, wealthy man, toil and labor, and the courtship. Be careful of who you get into any type of contracts with or any type of uh, situations with because I feel like they're just wanting to get you on so you can do all the work and all the labor and they just kind of sit back and be like, oh, I'm taking everything. They may come off as, as this very wealthy and knowledgeable person, but they don't, they don't know anything. They're coming off as a false person. Yeah, look, thief, as I was shuffling the cards came out. They're coming off as a false, a false person. What else do you have for Scorpio in the next seven days? I see the coffin card. The poverty card. Some of you may be, um, again, getting away from, like you're leaving one job, going to another. I got the coffin and the poverty card here. But I also feel like this is the end of you struggling. That's what I'm getting. Like this is the end of your struggle time. Like you, you won't be struggling anymore. Like things are going to start looking up for you. Things are going to start growing for you, becoming very successful and abundant for you here. The distance horizon. You're on the move. You're traveling. Some of you will be going viral. What else do you have for Scorpio? Full and labor. What else do you have for Scorpio? Pathway, community, and courthouse. Some of you are building like your social media platform here. You're choosing the, like you you decided your path. Like it's no more of which way should I go? Which way should I take here? You're making the final decision, the judge, the adjudication judgment call here. You're making the final decision to um, do something. This could just be like, oh, okay, instead of me just selling out of the store, I'm going to go online. And you make that decision and it pays out for you. It really pays out for you in the best way. Like the, your karma is you receive, yeah, set and well. You receive exactly what you need. <laughs> Great fortune. So you got a lot of money coming in. You just got to get yourself, be careful, make sure you're getting your sleep, bad health card. Just make sure you're getting your rest and things like that. But I see a lot of abundance coming in for you, okay? So Scorpio, this is what I have for you. I hope it gives you clarity and insight. Appreciate you all so much for watching. Catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.